On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to take a look at the Switch Fighting Stick for your Arcade 1-Up cabinet developed by Intech Gaming. Is this an awesome way to play Nintendo Switch on your Arcade 1-Up? Okay guys, we're back, and this is an interesting product that's uh, been a little bit hard to come by, but now they're available in plenty on Amazon.com. You can go ahead and uh, place your orders. This particular product costs $135. Did pay for this out of my own pocket. This is an arcade joystick designed specifically for arcade 1UP cabinets, where you can play your Nintendo Switch on your arcade 1UP via an easy install solution. Uh, the product itself can connect with retro consoles using their Bluetooth receiver, as well as there is a way using USB cables uh, to have a hardwire connection to avoid any kind of latency or lag or things of that nature. Product does come with a one-year warranty. Um, it's very interesting, and I'm excited to pull this out and check it out. The control deck itself weighs 8 pounds and is about 20.7 inches by 12 by 5.6 inches in diameter. Uh, so this thing is going to easily fit your Generation 1 and your Generation 2 Arcade 1-Up cabinets. Good chance a lot of the custom Arcade 1-Up cabinets, Legacy cabinets, things like that, uh, this isn't going to fit in those. So keep that in mind, guys. You're looking at using this to kind of refurbish your Generation and genera Generation 1 and Generation 2 Arcade 1-Up cabinets. You do have a very good instruction booklet, as well as some boxes included, as well as the uh, control deck. Let's take a look. Inside the uh, skinny little box, you're going to have this neat little PCB board. And what this is, is, guys, this is an uh, HDMI LCD converter board already mounted inside of a uh, what, what appears to be kind of like an arcade one-up shaped PCB box. So what's really cool about this is you're just going to install this where the original arcade one-up box is. And, of course, they put a nice warning sticker in there telling you, make sure you put those red wires facing the correct direction. That way you don't damage uh, your machine or your board and waste your money. You're also provided a new ribbon cable to connect that new PCB board to the new control deck that you just purchased, as well as they give you a nice little HDMI cable that we don't have to source another cable, so that's really nice that they threw that in there. So you have your HDMI cable as well as an extra USB to micro USB cable as well. So it's nice that these cables were included and you didn't have to source these yourselves. Don't be so quick to throw out your instruction booklet. You're definitely going to need it during your install as well as it's cool. You got these extra sticker labels to put on the Plexi whenever you finish your install for all of your Nintendo Switch buttons. So you know which button is what um, if you need help and, you know, need help memorizing the buttons. And this instruction booklet is fantastic. It's got great step by step pictures easy to follow instructions, everything you need to get up and running without an issue. Inside of the larger flat boxes, you have a bunch of cardboard control deck covers that you can use to kind of quasi match whatever arcade one up cabinet you're converting. So if you're, you'll notice that they gave you plenty of options in here, matching all the generation one and two arcade cabinets, your space invaders, your Galaga, your Mortal Kombat. Uh, all you have to do is punch out the corresponding holes Put this on your control deck and then put that plexi that's included with the control deck on top of it to protect the artwork and all that stuff. You could tell that they tried to make these match the cabinets as closely as possible without uh, causing any kind of copyright claims with artwork or things of that nature. So it's really cool. It gives you an idea as to what kind of cabinets you can use uh, to uh, that are compatible with this that you can use to go ahead and convert. The artwork itself is really bad in my opinion. Uh, I mean, these just aren't cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and convert a Street Fighter 2 arcade cabinet that I had in the garage. I went ahead and I pulled that in. So we're going to end up using that Street Fighter 2 artwork once we get there. Don't be so quick to toss the styrofoam padding as you're unboxing because the ball top covers as well as the dust covers are hidden inside the styrofoam in little slots right there. That way you guys don't accidentally throw those out or wonder where those are. As we go ahead here and we take a look at the control deck, we have our plexi cover on top of the control deck, as well as the plexi has got some protective film on it, which we'll need to peel. But just going ahead and uh, tinkering around, pressing the buttons, getting a feel for it, getting a feel for the joystick and everything. 
Uh, the buttons up top, which are like your Nintendo Switch buttons. Think of your Nintendo Switch, your home, your plus, your minus button, your Bluetooth sync button, all those. That top row of buttons, not too fancy in my opinion. They don't feel the best, uh, but they get the job done. Uh, but when it comes to these actual uh, Sanwa clone buttons, as well as Sanwa clone joysticks, these are actually pretty decent. In fact, these are better than what normally comes with an arcade one-up cabinet, but definitely not the best quality in the entire world. Now, if you want to leave it plain white, you can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Street Fighter artwork, because uh, for this particular video, I'm going to stick this on my Street Fighter cabinet. Obviously, all you got to do is punch out all the little holes and put it on there. And after you set it down, you can go ahead and peel the protective film off of the Plexi. This Plexi um, is a little bit thicker than what comes with an Arcade 1-Up cabinet as well, so the Plexi is slightly better, but still not the greatest acrylic uh, plastic in the world. Go ahead and get everything uh, set on there, get it all nice and lined up, and you'll see that uh, it actually looks a little bit better with some artwork on there, even though this artwork is kind of goofy and not the best and isn't going to match the cabinet. At this point, we'll just put our dust covers on and our ball tops, get everything screwed in. That should hold the plexi and everything in place until we actually screw and mount this into our Arcade 1UP cabinet. Now, from a design perspective, uh, I mean, you need a lot of buttons when playing all these Nintendo Switch games and you're trying to cram them all onto a 20-inch wide control deck. So, usually, I mean, if you're a person who plays by themselves, one player, you're probably going to like this. But obviously, two players, there's just not enough room for two players to play comfortably. So I pulled my uh, Street Fighter II arcade cabinet in from the garage. This thing has been sitting in the garage for a long time, and what do you know, went ahead and powered up without an issue. And we do have our Angel Otero Disability Marquee up here. Obviously the camera's making the LED light flicker, but it doesn't flicker like that in real person. And of course, to get this thing up and running, it's a little bit of a tedious process, but I think pretty much any uh, general user can do this. Remove the back of your cabinet, unscrew and remove your PCB board, Unplug all the wires going from the monitor to the PCB board and use a screwdriver and remove um, that grounding wire and boom, your PCB's off. You're ready to put the new PCB on. Taking the uh, cables and uh, plugging them in from the monitor to the new PCB board, you'll notice this is how it goes. You'll notice that the uh, red wires face uh, the white port uh, where the power, uh, the power port where the monitor goes in and of course we just need to go ahead and screw in our grounding wire as well once all that's done you're going to attach that new ribbon cable that they gave you go ahead and put your control deck on the front of the unit remove your old original arcade one-up control deck and plug in the new switch arcade control deck go ahead and plug that ribbon cable into that control deck plug in your hdmi cable connect that to your nintendo switch and plug in your power source Okay, time for the initial setup and to see if uh, we hooked everything up and if everything's going to work. Go ahead and uh, turn on the uh, turn on the control deck. Should power on the monitor. Go ahead and press the power button on your Nintendo Switch. You're definitely going to want to have a controller, a separate controller, ready to go uh, to help you get your button set up for the first time. I forgot to hit the button there, so there we go. And boom, it's there. Now, it does appear that on my Nintendo Switch, uh, the resolution... On here is displaying correctly on this particular monitor if you're using a generation 2 monitor or if you're using a vertical screen monitor there's a couple of little switches on the PCB board that the uh, instruction booklet shows you what to flip to in order to make sure you get the right resolution but the default switch is set for this particular monitor and we can go ahead and hop on in uh, you just go over to controllers and then you click on that option to change grip go ahead and hit the buttons on your handheld controller so that'll map just fine no issues and then on each of the uh, player one and player two sides you just hold down that first button on the top row that's the pairing button uh, you hold it down for a few seconds until the lights start blinking and then it starts pairing if you wanted to do a bluetooth connection and then uh, it'll go ahead and connect for you lights will go solid and say hey uh, player one is now player two and then um, when you go ahead and uh, pair player two, should change and say, hey, it's player three. But obviously, if you go and launch a game now using the player one joystick, it will be player one. And you'll notice the light will change to one green dot. Again, this is if you wanted to Bluetooth connect. You can use a USB and you could hardwire the connection. You just have to enable the uh, uh, pro controller wire mode underneath the settings menu to get that up and running. 
And what's really cool is that the uh, um, this new control deck has speakers built in, so now the sound is coming out through the speakers. I noticed I did have a little buzzing sound from the speakers whenever there wasn't any audio playing. But let's go ahead now and let's uh, let's go ahead and let's fire up a game here, and let's see how this looks. Now, one thing to note is on these Generation One Arcade One Ups, if you guys remember, these monitors aren't the best. The image looks okay, slightly washed out in my opinion. I think if you're going to get this product, guys, I would recommend you install it into one of the Generation 2 Arcade 1UP cabinets. They have the Bowie monitors uh, because those monitors are a bit better in regards to color and contrast. And it'll look a bit better because as you saw there on the menu, you cannot adjust um, your dis uh, brightness settings or anything like that when your Nintendo Switch is hooked up to a monitor. Here we go! And boom, you're done. You now have a Nintendo Switch Arcade 1UP Arcade Machine. As you guys know, the Nintendo Switch library is pretty, pretty deep. So there's tons of games you can find to play. Single stick games, what have you, where you'll end up having a pretty good arcade experience and uh, playing those games on an Arcade 1UP cabinet. In my opinion, I think this is a pretty sweet product. I think it's uh, definitely something that you probably might want to consider buying and having at least one of these as part of your arcade one-up collection easy way to play some really awesome games on an arcade machine but i would only recommend purchasing this product if you do intend to put it in an arcade one-up cabinet because if you wanted to just use this as an arcade stick for your nintendo switch there's a lot better options out there for single player as well as for multiple players uh, versus trying to uh, cram around this uh, oddly shaped control deck that was specifically designed for an arcade one up. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. Let me know if you guys are interested in this product. I'll have a link to Amazon in the video description below if you wanted to get your orders in. As always, guys, appreciate your honest feedback and opinions. If you enjoyed the review, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, guys, thank you for subscribing.